Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel to some of the most notoriously haunted locations in the United States of America? Well, now you can. Join me in my journey into the unknown. Every location has its stories and history. What will I find? Will I find proof of the afterlife? Or just an empty shell of a building? Only time will tell. This is a pair of Realm Encounters with Ricky Hellard. What's going on, everybody? Um, yeah, today's a big day. Travel day. Where are we traveling to? Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. And let me tell you, I've been in the field quite a while, and there have been a lot of really big, infamously known haunted places that I've been to, but nothing has beaten Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. And tonight, my good friend who owns the building, Ronnie D, has invited us out for an investigation. And not only tonight, but tomorrow night. And we're extremely humbled and grateful for this opportunity. And he's got some stuff in store for us. We're going to be locked down. We're going to be the first people ever to be locked down for a full hour in the hospital. That's right. No no gimmicks. It's it, This is the real deal. And there's been a lot of filming crews and stuff in there and TV shows. No one's had this opportunity yet. Or even probably had the idea. And these are going to be really, really active spots in the hospital. So you guys are in for a treat. So we're going to get going, hop in the car, and we're going to go do the damn thing, so stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? We're here at Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. Um, got here a few hours ago. We're just kind of getting a feel for the building, and we're gonna get tonight kicked off. Um, say right now, I'm just chilling in the VIP suite, now the the crew room. So we're gonna get to get down to business here. Um, lovely view, Old South Pittsburgh Hospital right out our window so so pumped uh, I've already had some pretty interesting things happen so I think the spirits are going to be good to us tonight so we'll find out all right here we are old South Pittsburgh Hospital we're in our base camp crew room um, all of our equipment and stuff here of course got my laptop got stuff charging last night was a busy night um, didn't get a lot filmed unfortunately but crazy, crazy personal experience on the the Tri City Clinic area. I actually had something get me to the point to where I jump up and took off. It was super intense. So we're gonna try to get to the bottom of that today. So let's talk about that experience real quick. So basically, long story short, unfortunately, we don't have any footage at the moment of what happened. 
Um, all I have is audio, which really doesn't do much for this situation because we didn't catch what I heard. But long story short, myself and Tim were pretty much locked down in Tri-City area. I was completely almost towards, about halfway towards the end. Tim was about 75 feet away from me by the ER sign. If anybody that's ever been there is familiar where I'm talking about. So, like I said, Tim's 75 feet away from me. He's down there doing his own thing. I'm pretty much quiet. I'm just being as quiet as I can for um, to allow him to hear, you know, in case there's any audible voices or anything. And long story short, um, a lot of weird noises. I heard a couple voices at the time. Where it gets crazy is towards the end. And I'm sitting there. I get sick uh, to the point to where I thought I was literally going to stand up and throw up. Then I got extremely calm. And at that point, something walks up to me and just growls or like grunts in my ear. Kind of like somebody clearing their throat like, like that. I just went fight or flight mode. I literally went from a seated position to literally on my feet and down the hall in three strides in 75 feet. So three strides, I covered 75 feet past him. So it's a funny situation. Um, Ronnie's currently going to be looking for the footage so i'll have to include that in another video but that is where the term tri-city sprinter comes in uh that's that was the birthplace of tri-city sprinter quote unquote tri-city go figure so yeah if you ever hear the term they're talking about me um yeah pretty pretty interesting situation so during this time we actually caught a few evps um well a couple um, in this video, I'm about to kind of throw in here to kind of allow everybody to kind of hear them. So make sure you're wearing these. Got to get some headphones or earbuds. These are not class A. These are definitely lower class, I want to say. If you're classifying your EVPs, these are around C or D. But listen as Tim's talking. You're going to hear another voice as he's talking. So um, this is in Tri-City Pharmacy area on the other side of where this picture is taken. Just myself and Tim down there at the time. Nobody else is down there. Everybody else is accounted for. And they were up in the room where they had the DVR system set up. And they were watching us. And you're going to hear a voice talking as Tim is talking. I'm quiet throughout this whole entire time. And the first time it comes through, it appears to be saying, don't. I'm resting. And then after that, seconds later, it appears to be saying something similar to, do you help me? Make sure you're listening with headphones or earbuds. This is a very low EVP, but I can tell you this is a legit EVP. There is nobody else down there with us. So what do you hear? that today other than that um yeah here's some footage of the hospital so let's let's get that footage real quick show you guys around there's tim what up motherfucker? tito bad 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 don't say that word no i'm just kidding anyway matter of fact i need to get a flashlight you got a flashlight i'll put it in the Probably needs new batteries. Those last forever. Okay, cool. So, anyway, how to get a flashlight just in case it gets too dark. You're not going to be able to really see a lot on this camera without the light in some of these spots. So, yeah. Here's the room that they're they're still working on everything. Kind of gives you a general idea of. How the rooms were laid out when it was a hospital. There's me. We got a shower. So yeah, each room shared a shower. Pretty small rooms compared to your normal hospital room, but that's just how it was back then. Do what? Oh. 
down here we have all the other other rooms you know patient rooms pretty much self-explanatory pretty cool artwork As you look, the hospital literally has like a neighborhood built around it. It's pretty interesting. Very, very interesting. So yeah, we, these are everybody else's rooms. Here is the ICU nurses station. Um, over here, the last time I was here, had a personal experience. Actually came out of this elevator shaft right here. Just heard a noise. Hello. Um, I was doing an EVP session. I was right here, looking out this very window. And something told me to turn around and look. And as I looked, a shadow figure came out of this elevator shaft went down and around and out that down that wing hung the left and some noise That being said, what on earth? Let's go back to the room and get some recorders. We'll find out where Tito is at. Hey Tim, yeah. was that you moving around stuff on, ter on the second floor above me? You weren't. I was walking down the hallway, but I wasn't moving. You didn't hear any bangs. Something was clearly like banging. And the only one that's here is Darla. I honestly, I thought it was you, bro. Well, you just heard it there, people. T Dog wasn't moving, making any noise like that. Okay. Just walk around with me and explore. That's how I'm doing it. That's how I'm getting most stuff. So, yeah, I mean, T Dog are just gonna walk around right now in the hospital, kind of show everybody around. I'm gonna get the recorder rolling. We're rolling. Yeah, so I'm sitting here explaining my experience. I heard the first noise came from down somewhere here. So I'm telling everybody, which I'm about to finish explaining to you guys. Okay, but. Over here, like I said, shadow figure came out, darted straight down that hallway, and hung a left. Um, one of the craziest experiences I've had as far as seeing a shadow figure, and especially as close as it was. Same night, actually had an elevator bell door ding while we were going to dinner as we were locking the hospital up. So that was pretty interesting. Um, still, to this day, cannot explain. I mean, I can, but I can't, if that makes sense. Okay, everybody, this is kind of a makeshift room to kind of show you what it looked like here back in the day. Yeah, I will. Check this out. 
Now, there was a room in the hallway where we were. These used to sit in those rooms along the whole entire uh, shadow hallway. We're in. You gonna get in it? Oh my fucking god, Tito. Unfortunately, that's where, you know, the content stops for this point. Um, it just was a very, very busy trip. A lot went on just those two days we were down there. But no worries because you're going to be seeing a lot of old South Pittsburgh Hospital in my feed uh, in the future. I'm, I'm spending a lot of time down there. I'm now a volunteer. So there's going to be some good stuff in the future coming Um for as far as evidence and stuff i'll share what i can when i can with everybody as far as the old south pittsburgh hospital but i got a little bonus content for everybody there's a piece of video i want to share with everybody um we actually caught what i call the third floor slammer so the doors like to slam on the third floor and at the time of this recording nobody was in the hospital we were all at lunch and the only thing that was in the hospital was that camera um it was completely locked up and we caught it we caught a door slamming not an actual video of the door slamming like physically but we have the audio of it and there is like i said there is nobody in the hospital at this time so check this out So yeah, there you have it. Um, I have no explanation for that. The hospital secured, locked up. There's no wind drafts that come through that building, and it wasn't even a windy day. So, and as loud as that was, and heavy as those doors are, they were slamming. Um, I don't have I don't have an answer for it. Um, but other than that, like I said before, I will be back at Old South Pittsburgh a lot in the future. So, it's going to be kind of an ongoing thing. Um, cannot wait. I cannot wait. But I just want to give everybody a shout out. Thank you so much for staying patient and, you know, just showing the support that I get from everybody. So, shout out to everybody. Also, um, do me a favor. Subscribe. Drop a like. Hit the bell notifications. Turn all notifications on because I got some content coming out very, very, very soon. Um, I have a bunch of stuff I film over the last year that I'm going to kind of piece together like this. It's incomplete, but like I said, when I get to these locations, sometimes it just gets so busy, but it's going to be better in the future because I'm going to have more stuff to, to film and stuff with. So this is all done on a GoPro, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, everybody. Like I said, the content's just going to get better and better and better. And thank you so much for the support and see everybody soon.